Okay, continuing on with part three of our Flickr browser upgrade, adding material design and the other cool stuff. This is video two. Let's keep going. Okay, so continuing on, the other thing we uh, haven't done at this stage is we haven't set up the styles or any commands at all in the styles uh, v21. So we're going to go into the values v21 folder. Now, if you haven't got one of these folders, that can happen depending on the version of Android Studio you use. I've noticed that uh, Release Candidate 4, if you create a new project, doesn't seem to create this folder by default. So if it doesn't, you just need to right click the res folder, new directory, and you'll call that values v21 as you see down there. And then what you would do, I'm going to cancel out of that. Oops, I clicked OK. And then you would uh, right click it. This time you choose new values resource file and you type in styles.xml. And what you would end up is having a styles.xml that's in the values v1 folder in addition to the styles.xml. So we're now looking at the one in the v21 folder. And by the way, in case you're ever wondering now which file is this, handily Android Studio will tell you, it will give you an abbreviation v21 slash which is an abbreviation to say you're in the you're in the, the Android Lollipop subfolder values v21. If I click on styles, you can see it's just uh, res slash values slash styles at XML. Really quite handy. We'll come back and have a look at that in a minute. Might be in a type, might be a typo there. We'll go back to styles. Now we need to change this as well because at the moment Android Lollipop, uh, if, if the app's running on Android Lollipop, it's going to be looking at this light, this uh, Android theme material light. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to do basically do the same command. We're going to type this or copy this same style command and paste it over the top. So style name equals Flickr, and actually I'll get rid of that extra style at this stage. We don't need that, but we'll be making a few changes. So now Android Lollipop version will also look for that, and you'll notice parent equals theme.base isn't defined in this folder. So what will happen is it'll automatically, that's just, this is the way that Android works, Come over here and go. Oh, okay. Theme dot base, and and start using these commands, which is exactly what we want to do. If we then want to override this these for these uh, you know values, just for Android Lollipop, and we will be doing this for a couple of things later, we can put those commands in here. So this is this is sort of the beauty. By default, it's going to use the styles.xml. but if you want to override that for Android Lollipop, we can do something specific in there as well. So we've got the best of both worlds. Okay, can I see here I've got a typo. Again, handily it does tell you, uh, or shows you in red whether there's a problem, and again, the color sort of confirms it to the left-hand side. Pretty handy. Okay, that's good. So, moving on. We've got our themes working now. So, next, what we're going to do is we're going to be adding that toolbar. So, again, we talked about removing the action bar. We now need to effectively add the toolbar. So, again, what is the toolbar? Well, this is sort of the toolbar like we're adding, and we're going to be adding something very similar to this one here. We're going to have a search uh, button, we're going to have a title, and we're going to have a little list. Uh, when we do a search, it's going to actually allow us to search sort of in that list, this little area here. So we're going to be using the standard toolbar widget, uh, toolbar widget that comes with App Compat. Okay, so we need to go back to our app, and we need to go into our layouts. We need to create a new layout. We're going to click on New, Layout Resource, and I'm going to call this one Toolbar. .xml. I'm going to leave that, we'll change that, just accept that the default is fine. And I'm going to go into text mode once that's rendered. So I'm going to make a few changes, I'm going to delete that first line out. And I'm going to change linear layout, and change that to android.support.v7.widget.toolbar. Press enter. So that's another line. And you can press command alt l on a Mac, and I presume it's control alt l. To reformat, you can see it's reformatted it so it's a little bit easier to read. And I'm going to change a few things here. So we're going to create that line, but we need to create another line. I'm going to call this one XML NS, which stands for namespace. We're going to call it Flickr because we've got to have a different sort of ID or identifier than the previous line. And it's going to be essentially that. Like so. Auto. Like so, auto. Okay, the layout, uh, the width, we're going to do a match parent and height. I'm going to show you how to use a command here. You can select an element, we're going to call this one just to show you how to use it action bar size. 
So let's going to go and use a system property, not one that we've defined called action bar size and make sure that we're using that as the default height. Look, I could have used a wrap underscore content if I wanted to, so it only used the amount of space that, you, uh, that it needed, but that's okay in this context. Okay, orientation we don't need because it's a toolbar and not a linear layout. Now we need to add a theme. So we want to theme this toolbar so it uses those colors and so forth that we've just set up. Okay, so next I want to type in a theme. So Flickr theme equals at style. Now I haven't entered these in yet, so that's not going to find a match. We're going to type in action bar theme overlay. We're going to type that in shortly. So that's going to be the overall theme that this is going to use. We're also going to add a pop-up theme. Again, I'll explain that when we get to that stage. At style. And that's going to be action bar pop-up theme overlay. And last, for the text, we're going to type Flickr title text appearance equals style slash action bar dot title text and again handily android studio is putting these things in red just to say to let you know they haven't been created yet and we were aware of that delete the bottom entry to linear layout and then i'm just going to type in a slash and it should automatically find it for us so that's our toolbar xml and uh, we're going to be uh, using an include command in other layouts to include this but for now we've got to go back and fix these few things up so i'm going to go back to styles and again this is the standard styles file not the v21 we're going to add these extra styles so i'm going to type in style name equals action bar theme overlay remember we called it that case sensitive by the way so make sure you got your case uh, correct when you're typing it and parent equals nothing so we're, gonna, we're not going to try and sort of copy over any other commands now what we want to do is we want to change the the text because if you recall up here in the theme base we didn't do anything with text we had yes we had colors background colors but nothing with text so we're going to type item name equals Android text color primary and of course that's going to be at color flicker primary text color like so. Okay, we need a control color highlight as well. So I'm going to type item name equals color control highlight. At color, we'll set that to our background color for now. Flicker background color. Okay, and that shouldn't have the Android at the start. Next, we want the action menu text color. So that's what color the menus are going to be. Action menu text color and that's going to be our primary color primary text color second uh, secondary color we're going to type name equals Android text color secondary at color flicker secondary text color and lastly we're going to set a background here as well the default background color android background background color flicker primary background color okay so that's our action bar theme overlay so these are the uh the settings that are going to be applied eventually to our toolbar. So again, going back to toolbar, we should find that's now gone green, which is good. So we need to fix these now. Action bar pop-up theme overlay and style for the action bar dot title text. So we're going to go do those. Okay, so I'm going to add style name equals action bar dot title text. Now the parent to this one, we want to do the original uh, sort of the system wide one, which is text appearance dot app compat dot widget dot action bar dot title so in other words we're sort of like overriding that style and what we want to do here is change the text color and the text size so we're going to put item name equals 
Android. Text color. Like so. And that's going to be our primary text color. Primary text color. Whoops. Primary text color. And we're going to type in another one. We're going to call this one our text size. This is how big the font's going to be. Text size. It's going to be 18 standard pixels. Now that's SP. Uh, it's not a you know, density independent pixel. This is just physically how many, you know, what the pixel size is for the font. As you would normally select it in, you know, Word document or anything like that. So that's all we've got for that one. And what I'm going to do with this third one, you can see that's disappeared. I'm going to delete that for now. Pop up theme. So I want to show you what that looks like without us doing that. So you can sort of see you know, why we, we're putting all these commands in. Okay, I'm going to stop the video here. I'll see you in the next one when we start building our classes.